I just need a girl who gon' really understand I just need a girl who gon' really understand Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about pregnancy symptoms um, First trimester versus second trimester And they're a little bit different So pay attention I guess Obviously everybody's pregnancy is different I got the shittier side of pregnancy so there's gonna be a lot of bad symptoms in here. Okay, so starting with the first trimester, we're going to do the first trimester and second trimester, and then I'm gonna do another video on the first trimester, second trimester, and the third trimester symptoms, like comparing them. I am currently in the third trimester, like right now. I was supposed to do this video a while ago, but I didn't get around to it, so here we are. First symptom. It's definitely food aversions. I didn't want to eat anything in the first trimester. I wanted nothing to do with like any kind of food. Like didn't want to eat anything and everything smelled gross to me. Like I literally would smell like a blueberry and I'd like gag or like throw up. Um or even coffee. Like y'all already know if you're not new to this channel. I love my coffee. Could not drink it could not even stand the smell of it, couldn't stand the smell of anything, like, I couldn't even be the one cooking, like, Brandon had to be the one cooking. Um, number two is nausea and vomiting. By the way, I have them written down if you're wondering why I'm looking down. This was literally the worst case of vomiting and nausea for me. I literally, as I said, like, I couldn't even eat a damn blueberry, like, I was throwing it up. Um, everything I ate was thrown up. Like, I could not eat anything. And there would literally be days where I, like, I literally went three to four days without eating because of the vomiting and how bad it was. I couldn't even drink water. Like, I would drink water. Like, I'd just take a sip and then I'd have to throw it up. And the thing is, is like, it wasn't like I wasn't hungry. I was freaking starving. Like, I was so hungry in my first semester, but I couldn't eat because everything I ate, it'd be thrown up. Um, towards the end of my first trimester, I, it, like, french fries and chips and popcorn were okay. They, like, stayed down sometimes. Or, like, saltine crackers. Like, you know, the plain salted ones. Those were okay. But at the beginning of my first trimester, I was throwing everything up. Like, I could not eat anything. Fatigue for number three. Um, I was literally, like, I swear I did not get up until my second trimester like i was sleeping my whole trimester i was always tired i i think i had a a window of 20 to 30 minutes where i'd be awake during the day and after that i had to go back to sleep like sleeping was my best friend during the first trimester you would never catch me awake like i never left my bed the first trimester and if you're not new to the channel, you know how much I like to do my videos. I like to do things. I like to go out for walks. Didn't do any of that for the whole entire first trimester and two weeks into my second trimester as well. Yeah, I couldn't stay awake for long periods of time. I would always be sleeping. And if I wasn't sleeping, I was throwing up. And that was literally it. Swollen breasts. Um, I didn't have really sore breasts. I had swollen breasts, like they were bigger. Like you can definitely tell um, that they were bigger. I mean, like I naturally have bigger breasts, but like they were bigger. And they were kind of like tender to touch. Like if you touch them, they'd be like, you could feel it. Like there was something off about it. And they were also like fuller. Um, I spotted. Not everybody spots during pregnancy. I only spotted one time, and that was actually the implantation bleeding, which is the baby actually, like the egg actually attaching to your uterus lining. I spotted once, and I think, I'm pretty sure that's how I knew I was pregnant. Like, one of the reasons why I knew I was pregnant. It was just, like, obvious. Um, my period never came, and I had implantation bleeding. But it only happened one day and it was like this really small little dot of pink blood. I had fever and headaches, let me tell you. I had headaches like every day. And whenever I was awake, I literally could not stay awake more than like as I said the 20 to 30 minutes. Or I'd either have a headache or I'd feel dizzy. 
or I'd be like absolutely like sick vomiting my brains out. Always had a fever, always had headaches. Um, they just never left. Even now, like in the third trimester, I have headaches, so. Bloating, I definitely felt bloated. Um, I'm not really like a bloater type person. Is that even a word? I never really bloat, so that's kind of how I, like, I knew too. Like, I was always bloated. Like, I never had like, like you can tell there's like a little bump there. The cramps, I definitely had a little, they weren't like, they were kind of cramps, but like, obviously not period cramps. They were just like mild little twinges, almost. Mood changes, definitely mood changes. Whenever I was awake, either crying or I was mad about something, like, I was never in a good mood. Something just like felt off about me, like my personality was like gone. Like, I did not feel like myself. I was, there was definitely like, everybody could tell like there was something off with me. I was very emotional, didn't want to leave the house or my bed, definitely didn't want to leave my bed. I, I don't even think I left my bed to be honest. Literally, the sad part is, is before I got pregnant, I was fit as fuck. Like, I was going on runs. I never showed it on YouTube for some reason. I was going to do a whole ass workout routine, but then I ended up getting pregnant. I was running marathons. Um, and I, I really like liked my body at the time and then I went ahead and got pregnant so kind of ruined it but I was actually in a really good place with my fitness and then literally a week later I found out I was pregnant so pretty sure I was running those marathons while I was pregnant as well yeah okay so second trimester so my second trimester was definitely way easier than my first like there's nothing in life that I can compare to my first trimester that you'll get a taste of what it was. I was literally on the floor vomiting like and y'all know that Brandon and I were in a basement before and the basement floor was just covered in freaking vomit and like I couldn't even mop it or wipe it fast enough because like fast enough to clean it because I was always, always like on the floor vomiting. Stretch marks. I didn't, I don't, I have stretch marks from the pregnancy and I got it in my in my second trimester. The only place I, places I have like stretch marks are my boobs and like a, like one or two on my ass, like that's about it. I have none on my stomach, like absolutely none. There's nothing there. Smooth as fuck. But my breasts, like, right in this area, covered in stretch marks. But honestly, I don't really care. Nasal problems and congestion, definitely. I still have it. It is such a bother. Half the time, I cannot breathe. And whenever I can breathe, my, my nose is, like, running from some cold somebody gave me. But yeah, I could, like, I can never breathe properly because my nose is so stuffed all the time and congested. Congested? Congested. Congested. And no matter how many times I blow my nose, like I can blow my nose like 20 times a day and it will still be like full. Like I don't understand it, but Braxton Hicks, mostly at the end of the second trimester, um, I had Braxton Hicks, but I had it throughout my second trimester, but I still get them obviously. Um, but definitely at the end of my second trimester, I had them. Like it would happen when I did too much exercise or like did too much of anything like whether I was stressing or just cleaning too much or like you know doing too much and that's when I would get them um I, sometimes I would get them just lying down but that's when I mostly got them dizziness definitely like if I don't drink enough which is the law I drink a lot um I'm definitely making up for this uh for trimester not drinking anything but um the dizziness, like I actually fainted a couple times because of it. Uh, in my first trimester, I also fainted because of it, but it's definitely not as bad. Like my second trimester dizziness is definitely not as bad as the first trimester. Um, skin changes. I have very dry skin, like in my armpit area, on my face. Like there's like a little spot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but. It's like really red because it's dry as fuck and around my nose too. 
like just everywhere my whole body's dry like um i also got pimples like a couple pimples they're covered up by makeup right now but they're not much but i never really got pimples before so that's another reason how i knew i was pregnant i think i might do a whole video on how i found out i was pregnant but I'm not sure because I'm like already in my third trimester and I'm literally giving birth in like two months but itchy skin definitely like my stomach area and my boobs and all that definitely itchy all the time my advice just take some cream like a thick cream and rub it everywhere like that's itchy I have a dark line going down my abdomen or stomach and it's definitely visible I know that's a uh, skin change Bleeding gums, sensitive teeth, definitely. Um, that happened during my first trimester, but it's mostly happening the second trimester. And now, UTIs. Oh my god. I don't know why, but like for pregnancy, like if you normally get UT UTIs, just prepare to get more UTI. Oh my god, I can't even speak. More UTIs during pregnancy because you're so prone to getting sickness and like UTIs and like bacteria like um UTIs for me which is a ut uh, urinary tract infection I'm so used to having them during my pregnancy I don't even care anymore it's just like a consistent thing that happens emotional definitely I definitely cry over like everything now before I was pregnant I didn't cry over anything like I would like never cry now I cry over literally the smallest things. Um, cramps, definitely in the lower stomach. I get cramps still. Hip pain, oh my gosh. Happens at night from side sleeping and constantly keeps me up. I never sleep anymore. Um, yeah, I just don't sleep anymore because of it. And it's so bad, honestly. Like, I don't even know what to do about it. People say put pillows in between your legs, but that doesn't work for me. Restless legs, this is another freaking big one that I can't get rid of. Happens every night, like the hip pain, and constantly keeps me up. Let's just say I'm not sleeping until I give birth. <laughs> because, Or even then too, obviously. But I have a better chance when I give birth to sleep than now. And that's pretty sad. Frequent urination, I'm always going to the bathroom. Yeah, so I'm always needing to go pee like every five seconds like i'm at that point where if i pass the bathroom or like i'm already there i'm just thinking in my head like i might as well just go to the bathroom because i'm already here and then more energy in my second trimester definitely because i mean like obviously i can say that because i was just not awake during my first trimester like you would never catch me awake and my second trimester i feel like i was up every day or almost every day and like I would be doing things like cleaning uh, doing dishes like cooking like I'd be doing all that but now I guess you're just gonna have to wait for the third trimester um, symptoms like not too much more but definitely more energy than the first trimester but yeah that's all my first trimester and second trimester symptoms um, I guess stay tuned for the third trimester symptoms because those are different than the first and the second. Um, I feel like they're all, every like trimester is a little bit different or they can mix symptoms like, yeah, it's pretty cool I guess. <laughs> pretty interesting, like every trimester is like something new, but you could have something new or you could have the same things, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you.